I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, mute the screensaver that we have playing on the TV so that you can hear me clearly. Bars. Okay, so your girl is just in the house. I actually just got showered. It's dark outside now. It's evening time, but it is a Saturday. So happy Saturday. How are you guys doing? Um, I spent most of the day just kind of like chilling, just sitting around in the house doing absolutely positively nothing. The only thing that I did get done is I did polish my nails. Um, I gave myself a manicure, gave myself a pedicure, you know, self-care things. Let me show you my toes. Zoom in on the toes so you can see. Um, I gave myself a manicure and a pedicure. So I did get in two packages. Actually, I got in a few packages because, you know, I'm still celebrating, you know, my birthday. So I'm still getting, you know, remnants of packages coming through the mail and so I got two um, I got actually got three but I've already opened one package I opened that yesterday and um, actually I got two packages one for my sister my sister got me some Riesling I'll show you guys that so I do subscribe to Scentbird this is not sponsored by the way so get that out of the way um, this is not sponsored at all I subscribe to Scentbird because I love perfume and so I got two cents for this month and um, I got the Tatcha Maya and this has uh, wild iris, black currant, patchouli, heart and oat moss. Okay, so that sounds like it might be like a warm and kind of musky type fragrance. So I'm excited about that. I like those types of fragrances. Um, this one, Osmanthus, so it's Aqua di Parma Osmanthus. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's an Italian brand, and um, it looks like it might be floral, but it has green mandarin, uh, patchouli, peony, umbrite, and this Osmanthus, which is like a floral, it seems like. So we're gonna bust this open, and we're gonna smell it. All right, so here's the bottle, and this is the Osmanthus. I already have perfume on right now, so let me just see. It's a little too floral for my liking, but I mean, it'll do. I mean, it's just something that I can throw in my bag if outside ever opens up. Yeah, that's a little too floral for my liking. I don't really like that one and so this is the tatcha this is the second tatcha fragrance that i got in my scent bird in my monthly scent bird subscription oh this smells this smells nice it kind of gives you like mature woman vibes i'm a mature woman so i'll take that oh yes that smells really really good i like that i like that so you know one out of two is not bad like i said i, I will still wear uh, the other one. I have tons and tons and tons and tons of perfume guys. I am a perfume lover. Second thing I'm going to show you. This is a gift. This is a gift from my sister. My sister actually shipped this in the gifts that she sent over for her grandkids. And so this is a birthday gift. Um, a second birthday gift for me from my sister. Uh, she got me this Black Girl Magic Riesling. Um, very popular here on YouTube and the um, Black influencer community. I've seen some of the um, Black influencers drinking this wine. So I'm really, really excited to try it. Um, she had to actually order it and have it shipped to Florida and then send it to me because for some reason we can't get um, this wine through the mail for, for whatever reason, it's so weird to me. But I'm so glad that I'm now able to try it. Black Girl Magic Riesling, so very, very excited for that. Uh, my sister also got me um, a nice glass, so let me show you that. 
Uh, so this is the glass that she uh, purchased for me. So I got the glass in the mail first. Um, I think this came from someone who has an Etsy shop. Her card is upstairs. I will link it down below because I think that it's so important in this day and age to support us, support black business. So if you know someone out there who is an entrepreneur and they are, are really doing the damn thing in their genre, whatever that is, just please support them. It's so, so important. And so I love this glass. It actually matches the living room, green and gold. And so yeah, when I, I try Try out my black girl Riesling I will be drinking it with Z cup and I'm loving this glass so. so your girl was looking for some um, some metallic gold sneakers and I saw that they had these Air Force ones but these look so big or maybe it could just be my eye I'm so excited for these these are so different I can't wait to rock these but so anyway anyway um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to rock that hundred dollar bill dress with gold accessories, but I wanted to really amp up the gold and have a gold metallic crossbody bag, my gold Air Force Ones, some nice chunky gold hoop earrings. You get me, you get me, right? That's what I wanted to do. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Um, so I wanted to actually rock that look for my birthday, but it was, that was remotely impossible because you know, right now, oh, they fit and they're so comfortable. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look, look at them. Oh, I'm in love with these shoes. Some people might say they country bumpkin, but listen, let, bring on the bumpkin. I'll take it. I'll take it. I love these. I absolutely love them and they don't make my feet look biscuity you know um, a lot of people don't like Air Force ones for that very reason a lot of people say that they make their feet look awkward that's not my thought process I like uh, high top Air Force ones I like the low top ones I actually have a pair of white ones a white white low tops uh, those were my first pair of low top Air Force ones I absolutely love them these right here these right here are a vibe you hear me they're a vibe let me know in the comments if you agree but these these here are a dope ass vibe yes they are and the next pair of shoes that i'm going to be showing you is a dope ass vibe too you ready um so yeah let me grab the other pair of shoes that i picked up for my birthday um and then i'll show you the the dress but i'm i'm pretty sure if you know fashion you know what's trending right now on the fashion streets you know the hundred dollar bill is all over everything and i think i actually featured like a hoodie in one of my videos i was actually wearing it in one of um, my videos so similar to that is the dress but it's mesh uh, which means that i would need to wear something under it because it's like you know completely transparent but i did try it on over a white jumpsuit it fits so good the only thing was i didn't have the right shoe until now so now i have these gold air force ones they fit like a glove just like the dress and i cannot wait to wear i cannot wait to wear now i just want to make sure that the zara bag that i got to go with it is on point so this video was probably going to be over a couple of days because i also ordered some I ordered some accessories from Glamazon Tay, I believe is her name. She's a YouTuber. She's She has a boutique, online boutique. Um, I think she's out of Cali. But I did go over and support her, her boutique as well. You know, the theme for my birthday this year was to be a blessing to others. And, you know, although I'm on my journey to become financially independent, this was a special, this is a special time of year for me. And so um, I wanted to use that opportunity to be a blessing to other people. And um, I made that my mission. And so if I can support a small business, mul a multitude of small businesses, um, to help them out during this time. Um, you know, I'm so grateful that I was in a position to be able to do that. So by me coming on here and showing the things that I, I, I purchased for myself, um, my ultimate goal in this was to, you know, to treat, to treat myself to some amazing products and to also support my people. And I think that mission accomplished. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you the dress, but I need to show you these shoes these boots um y'all not ready y'all not ready um y'all not ready but i did get a charcuterie board from 
my sister from another mister Eileen she's a co-worker of mine um, and we've become pretty close and I love her I love her to death and um, she got me the biggest charcuterie board because I like to make boards and so now I have no excuse I wanted to make the most amazing charcuterie board for someone who does not eat meat and so I wanted to bring in some amazing fruits some crackers um some vegan cheeses and all of that and make the most amazing charcuterie board and so she got me this beautiful set um the toys are on top of it right now but i'll put a link to it um because she did get it on amazon it came in an amazon box but it's so beautiful like i i, I have been so spoiled over my birthday it's absolutely ridiculous so i spoiled myself most uh most of all but you know it's a blessing I'm so grateful so thankful um, so what do I want to do now I want to show you these boots guys I really really do but um, you're sitting on the box so can you move <laughs> I'm just joking I'm just joking alrighty guys your girl is back so they sent me the boots in this big ginormous box the the, the company that actually um, had the boots um, but yes, I got me some Margiela boots. Period. Period. Okay? Period. I got them. It's my first pair of Margiela boots. First pair. That's all I'm going to say. I'm just going to pull the boots out. Just, you know? So these boots only came with one dust bag uh, but it is big enough to fit uh, both of the boots and so um in the box i mean the paperwork that they gave me i mean it was the paperwork was like five or six sheets of paperwork that i got with the package and then also um the only way they were they would be able to leave the package is if someone signed for it so i had to be like you know close to the door so that i can hear the ups guy when he delivered the package because you know these boots are you know they're they're a little bit on the higher end side of you know the boot realm so let me tell you guys something these are them they're not the tabby boots um they're these and i am so excited look at the heel you know luxury look at that heel so i am just so excited that i was able to snag these boots i don't know um how old these are when they came out or whatever but i saw um, an influencer I can't even because it was someone that kind of came up I, I don't know if it was on the explore page or if it was on some boutiques page or whatever but I saw an influencer a fashion influencer and I apologize I've never seen this young lady before ever um, she had just kind of come up in my in my aimless scrolling and she was wearing these boots and everybody and their mama was asking her who are those boots by where are those boots who well, i thought they because they kind of give like the look and the feel of like a yeezy boot and i do believe that um that yeezy did release a boot that was kind of similar to this um but you know she was like i dropped the name below i dropped the name below but there were so many comments it was like a thousand comments under this picture i'm like oh my god i'm never going to find it but i found it it's a Margiela boot, which I probably should have known that it was a Margiela boot because their boots have a common theme, you know, so I kind of should have known that. But, you know, I figured it out by scrolling. I had to scroll for a couple of hours, but I found it. And then I was on the hunt for the boot. So now, mind you, this was in the summertime because she had on like a like a bodycon dress and she was rocking those boots with a bodycon. And so when I went on the hunt for the boots, they had them on the list site, but they only had them in a size six. I can't wear a size six. So I said, you know what? 
I can't find these boots anywhere. Like I looked and I looked and I scrolled and I scrolled and I wondered and I prayed and I asked and I begged. I did it all, okay? Everything. And couldn't find them. So I said, you know what, April? Forget it, forget it. It's not meant, it's not in the cards, okay? Shuffle the cards, look around. It's not in the cards, you're not gonna get the boots. So I was just like, okay, I just cut my losses with the, with the freaking boots. It's whatever, moved on with my life. Then, night before last, he touched me. He touched me, woke me up out my sleep, and was like, go get your boots. So I go, I'm like mindlessly scrolling on Instagram in the wee hours of the morning, and boom, the boots, right there, size seven. I go to the site. 40% off with an extra 30% off. Who like who does that? Who does that? 70 who does that? On bees? Who does that? But okay, I said okay. That's a blessing. We were talking six hundred dollar shoes. You know what I'm saying? And so they were already deeply discounted as it was, and then I got an additional thirty percent off. So you know. I got them. That that's it and that's all. I got them. So I got those boots. I got some furry boots that are on the way um, and I got my Air Force Ones. So I love them. I absolutely love these Air Force Ones. I don't know if anybody else is gonna love them, but I got what I wanted for my birthday and I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful and all of that. I was actually supposed to try to get out of the house today, but you know what? I Sometimes you just need to be home and I think that you know God just kept me here at home doing nothing and I'm okay with it. I got two Tom Ford fragrances but they're alternative um, fragrances to the actual Tom Ford scents and I'm actually wearing one right now and it smells so good. Um, I love it. It's um, the Tom Ford Lost Cherry and, Fab and Fabulous. It's a combination of the two and it smells really really great. These alt fragrances they are a showstopper in the game because first of all, they are at a fraction of the cost and they're perfumes, which means that they're long lasting. So we have a coat closet just over here. And when I open that coat closet, all I smell is the um, Baccarat Rouge when I open it because it's in my jacket and the smell is just, it just permeates. It permeates in the hallway. So it's a really, really good um, alternative if you're not interested in, you know, making a 200, 300, 400 dollar investment into some damn perfume. So I'm going to piece you guys out here for now, and then maybe I'll come back when it's dinner time or something. Um, I want to bust this wine open. Is it a cork wine? It is a cork wine, but I'm gonna have to do a. I want to do a boomerang, so I need my phone to do that. I need to do some boomerangs to. Um, to commemorate my first time trying black girl magic riesling so i'll come back and let you guys know how it tastes It's very, very good. It's very good. I'm a fan. So definitely go and check out Black Girl Magic. Their wines, they're good. They're good. I mean, you can, as you can see, I only have the Riesling, but definitely try it. And I'm going to see how I can go about getting my hands on some more of this. This Riesling is good. And I'm not even a fan of Riesling. I don't drink uh, Riesling. That's not my wine of choice. But this is really, really good. I love it. Cheers. 